In this video, we'll use the travel demo to take a look at some of the key features of Magnolia, user roles, publishing, a multi-language website, and a multi-language author interface. Let's log in as super user and take a look at the security app. Magnolia has a powerful and flexible security mechanism based on roles, groups, and users. You can specify which apps and actions and even which content within an app that a user can access, as well as who can request and publish workflows. The travel demo includes a few users to illustrate typical roles, and the password is always the same as the username. So Eric is an editor who can edit all content. In the Pages app, in the Community Edition, he cannot access the Publish Action. On the Enterprise Edition, he can access the Publication Action, but he cannot actually process the workflow items. You'll see that later. Peter is the publisher, so he can also edit all the content. And in the Community Edition, he can access the publish action, whereas Eric could not. And in the Enterprise Edition, he can also view the items submitted for publication in the Pulse and approve or reject the items for publication. Tina is a tour editor who cannot access the content in the Pages app. So it demonstrates that you can limit uh, the access of a user. And the Eric DE is just the same as Eric, but is a German author, and we'll see the interface in a German language. So let's take a look at one of these examples. I'll log out and log in as the tour editor, Tina. Now, right away, you can see that Tina has a different view on the application. For example, uh, she has no access to the security app. And if I go into pages, uh, there are no page templates available because the user does not have access to the workspace and therefore no actions are available. And they cannot create a page. However, uh, the user does have access to the tours app and could view and edit In Enterprise Edition, publishing is based on our flexible workflow system. Our standard out-of-the-box workflow is a typical four eyes workflow, where an editor submits an edit for publication and a publisher is notified and can approve or reject the submission. I'll log in as Eric, who has the editor role. And let's edit a page. We'll edit the contact page. Note that the status is green, which means that the current content is published. Um, let's fix this phone number. Okay, save change. And now Eric can preview the page, make sure that it looks correct, and publish adding a comment. Publication workflow has been launched. And now if we look at the pages tree, we see that the content is changed but not yet published. Eric is done, now the publisher needs to publish the content. So let's log out and log in as a user with the publisher role. and Peter gets notifications in the Pulse. So he has a publication request. Uh, we see the comment, fix the phone number. Um, we can take a look at the change. And okay, he can see that the fours were removed, the number was fixed, everything looks fine. He takes the task and publishes it.
Now if we go to the Pages app, we can see that the contact page has is green again because the content on the author instance has been published. Magnolia is well suited to managing multi-language websites. In the travel demo, we can see that we can switch the language to German, and now everything on the entire site from the buttons, the categories, the tours, and the pages are now in German. Let's take a look at this Our Company page. I'm logged in as Eric. I go to the Pages tree, open the Our Company page, and now in the editor you see that we also have a drop-down for the language. Now that I'm in German, I see everything in German, and if I edit a component, I see the German content. So let's change Urlaub to to Abenteuer, and of course update the English as well. Save the changes, and of course we can switch and see that it's been updated, and check the page on the author, see that it's been updated, and also in German. The same principle works for the content apps. So if I open a tour, I see all of the English content, but I can switch to German and edit all of the German content as well. But Magnolia provides not only multi-language websites, but multi-language administration. That means whatever language your administrators know, they can use Admin Central in that language. We have five languages out of the box, and you can add additional languages as well. So let's look at Admin Central from the perspective of a German user. Again, the password is the same. Now we can see that the app's names are in German, and if I go to the Pages app, the actions are in German, and if I add a page, the dialogues are in German. 